This is essentially the worst Pokemon card product of all time, and I will be opening it up again in today's video. I thought I would never open up this thing again and be spared from the nightmares. However, I am moving and I have lots of excess Pokemon card products that I thought I didn't have and apparently I had one of these and I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to open it up for today's video. However, it's not just going to be an opening for this Elite Four box. I've come prepared for what the tragedy is going to partake with this specific box. And tragedy is putting it lightly. I will be opening up Team Up Booster Packs, which is the newest Pokemon card set. I will also be opening up Burning Shadows Packs, get a little search for another Hyper Rare Charizard, and then the Coup de Gras. I will be opening up a GX Ultra Shiny Booster Pack, but I'm like, this product is that bad that I don't even think one of these gorgeous packs is going to be enough. So I got two. And then I was thinking, this is really that bad. So I got three. So three GX Ultra Shiny packs and all of that behind, I will be opening up in today's video. But a product that you should never get. And this is only for sale at Target stores. My first video that I did on this and I opened up two of them, it didn't even come with 60 total cards. It did come with a booster pack and I think it was like an evolutions pack. One binder, because apparently those fit in this whole thing, and then three foil cards, which I think they were just reverse holographic cards. All of that for a total of $15.99 because they couldn't just put 16. $15.99 makes it look a little bit better. It's a little sales trick. But no, it's made by the Unfarfield Company, the Fairfield Company. And that is what it says. Guaranteed, it's guaranteed it's on the box to contain all of that. But no, it does not. So I ask y'all to humbly forgive me, Heart Squad, for opening this up again. But for sake of making it easier for me to move to a new place, I will be opening this up in all those packs. Let's see, I want some member of the Heart Squad out there to please count and make sure it does come with all of that stuff, especially the 60 total cards, which my last one didn't. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, an energy card. I'm not gonna go one by one, but let's take a look at the pack. And uh, is this an ancient origin? So, wow, I'm so lucky to get an XY pack. Instead of a base set pack, not, I would even take a base set sun and moon pack. This is just giving you a good old X and Y pack. So, uh, Ancient Origins isn't a bad set. It's just X and Y, so the cards aren't as sought after anymore. Here's that lovely binder, which I would have hoped comes with a first edition base set Charizard right there. That would be the only thing that would make this box worth it. All right. Let's take a look at all the other cards, because that is everything that is in this entire box. So, tossing that out of here. And of course, get ready for energy cards. You got plenty of them from different sets. Wow, we. All right, so, whoa. Hold on. I'm sorry, Snivy, you're a gorgeous. Look at that. Is that an actual base set card? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. This is an actual base set Pokemon card, just unlimited, a Nidoran male. So obviously the centering of it doesn't matter for the company, it's just how were they originally printed. This is actually in good condition. No bend, not really any whitening for just siddling, siddling, I'm making up words today, sitting in that Elite Four box. Okay, what about this? More. My face is actually like, instead of this, it's kind of like, whoa. A Ponyta base set. That has terrible whitening on the, you can see on the sides right there. So there we go. What else do we got? A lovely Machoke. That is terrible. Look at that. It's making these not worth it, but let's continue. A Onyx. I'll take a look at the date for that one. So 2010, so maybe around next Destinies-ish. So there we go. Back to jungle now. So 
Vintage cards. I'm a little impressed. Nidoran female. Well, I think that may have been all the vintage cards, but let's see, because if that was, those are worth not that much at all. But, potion. All right, we got some base set two cards. Execute. Neo Genesis. So we're getting a little variety of Wizards of the Coast. There's a lot of whitening on the cards, but it is still kind of cool. I will admit a teensy bit that it is cool that there are some vintage cards, like that Vulpix. And then if you like the Alolan Vulpix. So they got Sun and Moon cards in here. They just decided not to put an actual Sun and Moon pack. I love all these upside down cards too. Shauna of the Dead, Mount Lanakila, Mudbray. Ooh, is this one of the foil cards? It's a uh, Plasma Blast or Plasma Storm? I'm not exactly sure, but there we go. Team Plasma card, Reverse Holographic. There's an Energy. That's actually a Base Set Energy card. Okay. All right, now I'm seeing it. We actually got Holographics this time. All of my last boxes, and I opened up two, were, I think were just Reverse Holographics. This is a Black Star Promo Hollow. And a breaks in Black Star promo hollow, which unfortunately, as I get this in focus, is not that good. <laughs> oh, there we go. So there was just a random reverse holographic in this box, and I finally did get three actual holographics. And this is not a Black Star promo, this is an actual Flygon regular card from uh, 2015. So there we go. What else do we got? So we got some more energies that are from, from recent sets. Spritzy, Bibbidi Boo, It's a Pumpkaboo, Fairy Garden, Rapidash. Totodile looks like it's a little bit older. Yeah, so this is uh, Delta Species 2006. And then it's the original Professor Oak, but base set two form. So I'm very pleased to see that there are actual vintage cards in this box, but for no reason. Should you ever buy this Pokemon box? Don't need to repeat that this time. Pikachu, Machop, Voltorb, Pelicans, Pumpkaboo. There's an Eevee. It's kind of cute. Clefable, and a Machop. So we're going to get into the packs now. But I want y'all to tell me if you think these three holographics, those random common and uncommon base set and random other Wizards of the Coast cards in this one Ancient Origins pack is equivalent to $15.99 plus tax. I'm going to go ahead and say no. But, thankfully, this Ancient Origins pack can uh, maybe at least give us something. Let's see. No Gassy Energy Game. Matang. Hex Maniac. Rotom. Persian. Ralts. Golette, Malamar, Boltoy, Sableye is a reverse uncommon. Usually Sableye is a rare in newer sets. And Golurk, ancient trait non-holographic. So yeah, I'm just going to put all of those cards over there. And uh, let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the really good stuff. Team up, Burning Shadows, GX Ultra Shiny, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, Heart Squad, and anybody else watching. I post videos Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 1 p.m. Standard Time, uh, Central Time, excuse me. All right, so guess the energy game. We get to do the guess the energy game, Psychic, starting off with a Metal Type, Metal Goggles, Golduck, Deblade, Philosopher Pidgey, Dratini, Ponyard, Alolan Grimer, Ponyta, and Alolan Executor, and this is a really good one to get out of the two. There's two of them in the set, and that kind of just takes care of that. Don't even need to put a picture up now. Those are the two. This is the good one right here, and it's in reverse rare form, so very nice, even though we didn't get it holographic. All right, so now I'm going to go with Burning Shadows, and uh, I did, you know, pull two Hyper Rare Charizards the day two days in a row. Let's see if we can get either a Hyper Rare, Full Art Guzma, say Leaf. All right, another Metal Energy. Olivia Munn, Curlia, Rabombi, Broccoli, Esper, Pikachu, Noibat, Dupiter, Rhyperior Reverse Rare, not bad, and Bruxish. Back when Bruxish was a rare. 
Now Brux is just an uncommon. All right, your patience has been rewarded. We will open up GX Ultra Shiny, and uh, let me make sure it's focusing. We are still searching for the shiny Charizard card, so there's a chance that we can actually get it in one of these packs. We are opening up three of these packs. Usually it's 10 booster packs per box with 10 cards in each pack for GX Ultra Shiny. Three cards, if I didn't do it already. Let's see if we can get a shiny. Plenty of shiny Pokemon to get too. Rescue Stretcher, Fiery Flint, Kartana, na na na, Poipul, Bulbasaur, Pachirisu, Xerneas. Uh, I was about to say Christmas tree. Yes, it is. It's Christmas tree. Magnazone Hollow, Greninja GX, and Shattered Foil Copycat. That's beautiful. It's kind of like what the reverse rare would be. But you are, as you saw, guaranteed a GX in every one of those packs. So that is a decent pack, we know. Starting over. Team up. Then back to Burning Shadows, and then another GX Ultra Shiny pack. So let's see what we can do. And if y'all can, definitely uh, check out some of my videos that I posted earlier this week. I'll say, did I do the four cards? I think I did. Psychic again. A fairy. I'll put up the uh, videos from this week in the eye if y'all want to go take a look at them. Very good. And I got some great ones coming up this week, because this video is probably going to be posted middle of the week, maybe Wednesday. And a Nitto Queen, non-holographic rare. That was a team up. Uh, even getting a Jirachi holographic from team up is very good. That card at the time of making of this video is worth around $30 just for a hollow. Of course, we uh, still ha haven't also pulled the full art Erica's Hospitality secret rare trainer card. So that would be something we'd like to pull as well. But this is Burning Shadows, Leaf, Dark Energy, Man, I'm just, just seem to say metal and dark energy the whole time. Tormenting Spray, Lana Del Rey, Wimpod, Togedemaru, Sock, Mudbray, Oddish. The reverse is Metapod, and Alolan Raticate. So, so, so far, nose goes, but all it takes is a shiny Pokemon. Let's see what we can do. That's the shiny Charizard right there. One of the Heart Squad members, you. Got one box of this after opening up only one box and he pulled the shiny Charizard. Meanwhile, to open up like 15, 20 of these boxes and I've still not pulled it. All right, no guess the energy game for this set. A uh, Beast Ring, Mimikyu, Eggs, Magnemite, a uh, Breaks In. <laughs> That is awesome. That is what it's about. I don't know the price of this card off the top of my head, but it will have been on screen. So I am really pulling for this to be a very rare card because I have pulled the Cynthia Trainer twice and that card's worth around 60 to $70. But this, this, makes, the, this makes the opening for me, guys. I'm happy about that, but I'm not happy about the fact that... Uh, I forgot the sleeves again. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, you know, I wasn't expecting anything with opening up that Elite Four box, and uh, I decided to open up these, and I just wasn't prepared. So there we go. And then we can check the rest a Zekrom Hollow, a uh, Hydreigon, and a Stekragagara GX. See, of course, you don't, once you get a shiny or a full art trainer like that, you do not get a reverse. So starting back off with Venusaur and Celebi. Let's see if we can also pull another, because we have pulled before a Hyper Rare Pikachu and Zekrom. That would be a very nice Hyper Rare to pull from the set. I'll say Metal Energy. Now it changes up. Of course, be that way. Pokemon Communication would also be a Secret Rare Trainer that I would like to pull. I have not pulled that. Squirtle, Tentacool, Grimer, Sabrina's Suggestion. Very cool. Mighty Yenna. Sabrina Full Art Trainer would also be a trainer that I'd like to pull as well. Y'all keep uh, showing me that you keep on pulling Erica's Hospitality in the Sabrina Full Art card. <laughs> Meanwhile, Leonhardt's opened up a bunch of packs and hasn't pulled it yet. All right, Burning Shadows, Fire Energy. I really thought it was going to be this time. Metapod, Dusclops, Noctow, Krogunk, Pikachu, Panpour, Cutie Fly. Pans here, beware. That is a reverse rare. And Electivire, non-holographic 
Rare. I'm just staring at that gorgeous card. Yes. I'm happy about that because now we are at the final GX Ultra Shiny Pack. Still a chance. In every booster box, you are guaranteed at least two shiny Pokemon. So there's still a chance to get another. All right. So Grass Memory, Tutorinator. I think Dana, Nicole, Evelyn, Torchic, Curlia, Dino. Guzzlord is the Hollow, Garchomp, a Lycanroc GX, and the Shattered is a Slugma. Shattered Foil. Very cool looking card with all the red right there, so that is kind of cool. So now we just have uh, three Team Up and three Burning Shadows to go. So now let's see if we can get something good from these English packs because the Japanese ones gave us some uh, gorgeous stuff. So here we go. Here we go. Full Art Latias and Latias would also be nice for Team Up. Leaf. Oh, I, I switch away from Dark and Metal. And that's what I get. I should have just stuck with it. All right, Mankey, Litten, Emolga, Marie, Aerodactyl, Reverse Rare, not bad. And Dragonite. So a great, perfect pack. A Reverse Rare Hollow, and then a Dragonite Holographic card. So not my favorite type of Dragonite card, but it is still Dragonite, and I love Dragonite. So don't you say anything bad about Dragonite. So. Uh, let's go with this. Burning Shadows. Full Art Guzma, or Hyper Rare Charizard, I'd take. I'll, s I'll say Metal Energy. Fine. Be that way. Bufalant. Escape Rope. Wick. A Sandcastle. Venipede. Horsey. Mudbray. Lediba. Electabuzz. And a Golisopod GX. All right. Not too bad. I think it's like a dollar worth of that card, but I'll still take it. It is an ultra rare. Can never be disappointed with that. All right. There is that. Four cards. I will say, do I stay with it? Metal. Lightning energy. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch and then watch it be the exact same. Uh, it's going to be metal or dark energy. Poochiana, Geodude, Betis. Bronzor and an Alolan Marowak, non-holographic rare. So one more team up pack to go, but we got two Burning Shadows. So let's see if we can get some better luck because the pulls haven't been that amazing. Minus that shiny card, which was great. Um, fire. Mm. At least it wasn't a metal or dark energy. I'll take that. Charmeleon, Porygon 2, Simiseer. Tynamo, Crabrawler, Inkay, Lediba, Caterpie, Ralts, and Araquanid. I'm happy we haven't pulled a Deancey holographic. It seems it's going to happen in that last pack, but uh, I'm just happy we haven't. It's every single time we open up Burning Shadows packs, Hard Squad, we always get a Deancey hollow. All right, Pikachu and Zekrom pack. Let's get some second to last pack magic. I will say Leaf. I couldn't say Psychic. I wanted to. That has to be the last pack. I always save it for the last pack. All right. Rapidash, Pooch, Nidoran, Female, The Pan, Voltorb, Klefki, Ferroseed, and a Mr. Mime GX. Always good. Mr. Mime's getting some love. So, ultra rare Mr. Mime GX. I think that card's only worth like $2. So, nothing too crazy, but still very nice. Burning Shadows. Can we get some last pack magic? Still got the stench of that Elite Four box in my mouth. So let's see what we can do. Full Art Guzma, I'd take that as well. Psychic. Just laugh at me. It's okay. Dark energy. Rub it in my face, Burning Shadows. Charmander. Crabrawler. Meowth. Stuffle. Broccoli. Braxius is a reverse rare and a vile plume. Holographic, one of my favorite hollows from Burning Shadows, so I am happy about that. Hard Squad, thank you so much for bearing with me through that Elite Four box. I got some amazing videos coming up, and I appreciate the support. My name is Leanheart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.